Well, they know what they must do this evening. Destiny in their hands. Three points to guarantee a place on the knockout stages. And it's live here on EA TV. And welcome to one of the most football crazy cities anywhere in Europe. We are in Dortmund, famed, of course, for the famous Yellow Wall. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Inter. Thank you, Derek. Well, it's the sort of position the visitors would have seen themselves in. Could qualify for the knockout stages tonight. Will it all go well for them tonight? We're just about to find out. Should be a cracker. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Individual quality coming to the fore. Can they slot at home? Well, the clearance half-hearted. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Roman Burki gets the nod in goal. Thomas Delaney plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And it's an interesting-looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed. That is when your goalkeeper is worth his weight in goal. Well, he's earned his wages, hasn't he? He was in position. He had his focus. What a save. And it all counts for naught. Well, as we've already made note of, here is the scenario for the visitors tonight. Can they secure their place in the knockout stages, Lee? Yeah, that's right. You want your fate in your own. Can we get a try? What an important piece of defending. Keen to take it short here. The word dynamism certainly applies to Marco Reus. Lee, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, basically, you've got to keep him out of the box because he's got such a brilliant finishing ability that you give him half a yard, he will score. So keep him as far away from your goal as possible. Eriksson. Romelu Lukaku now. Real authority in the challenge from Lukas Piszczek. Guerrero. Ball with Marco Reus. Guerrero. Maneuvering his way forward and played in. A very effective clearance. Ericsson. Lukaku. Martinez. And he favours the inside route. And he takes on the shot. And just a whisker away with that effort. Well, he chose his instep. Good technique, just wide. Good, sir. Jaden Sancho. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And it's a quality pass. Well, he got to it fairly easily. Moses, Brozovic, Eriksson, Romelu Lukaku now, Eriksson, and it might be, and the chance goes begging for Inter. Well, that was a chance that could have led to the opening goal, and should have led to the opening goal. Martinez, well, they're on the scent of something positive. Lukaku. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? The offence on the part of Mats Hummels has been deemed cautionable. Yeah, it was more of a missed time tackle than anything else. Oh, it's off the post! He took care of it defensively. Barella. Lukaku. Thunders clear. Well, I suppose, Derek, technically that's as close as you can get without it going in the goal. Lukaku. Well, he 
You know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Well, there really has been a lack of quality from the defence right through to the forwards. The stats don't lie, Derek. I'm hoping for better soon. Moses getting forward. Kandreva. Lukaku. Genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion. That's going to be all for the first time. Away then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Now Brozovic. Varela has it. Eriksson. Varela. And will they be able to play it in behind the defence? An important interception. Christian Eriksen, a magnetic player to watch. But based on this performance, is he going to get low marks? Well, he's worked his socks off, hasn't he? Played really, really well. Done everything but score. Hit the wood. Oh, this might pay dividends. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game. But now, all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. Now, let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Borussia Dortmund against Barcelona. Yeah, cup football has its own special atmosphere for me. The stakes can be really costly. Can't wait for that one. And Dortmund will go to the bench. I must say, no shortage of space. Eriksson. He's just veered into an offside position this time. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Axel Witzel. Guerreiro. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And there's the feed into the box. Well, the clearance half-hearted. He's letting it go as they keep the ball. Excellent ball over the top. Will it be Lukaku? Still possibilities. Guerreiro. And a throw in it's going to be. Well, they have been getting three substitutes warmed up. And by the look of it, all three are coming on. Messino. He continues to make hay. And the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty given. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think. And the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good referee. Nice and strong top. And the penalty is 
Again, I can tell you his nerves will have been jangling, but he kept his nerve. Really good penalty. It's going their way. 2-0. Sancho now. Oh, tremendous vision. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Well, Inter's possession stats are brilliant. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers. And really has been a dominant performance. Varela has it. Very comfortable when in possession. Well, the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. Just ten minutes to go. A bit of running room now on the wing. And Royce puts it in. Well, the header didn't exactly go to plan. Well, I'm not sure what he did there, but he caught it on the top of his head. But whatever he did, it was a poor attempt. Moses on the ball. Kandreva here. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Individual quality coming to the fore. He has time to play it over. It comes to nothing. And this is Royce. Must score! And sadly, you've got to say, miles off target. Well, if it had just bent it or maybe just gone for a bit more accuracy. Instead, he went for the strong shot and he just fluffed his lines. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Barella. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Barella has it. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not so... Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray. With me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It is Slavia Prague up against Inter. Well, thank you, Derek. With the visitors already qualified for the knockout stages, I'm pretty sure they'll want to come into the lion's den and pinch top spot. Let's see how it goes, Derek. I'm looking forward to it. I'm pretty sure you are too. Barella has it. Others to play it to. So here is the table. And I was having a chat with some of the away fans ahead of kickoff. They're so buoyed by their performances over the last few games on the group stage. Tonight, they could rubber stamp first place, Lee. Yeah, they're going to need a little help from the other fixtures if that's to happen. But I think the manager will just be focused on getting the three points and see where you land at the end of the day. Lukaku! A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. 
Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. An important interception. And Dreva, what can he do? Ericsson. Now Lukaku. Barella has it. Candreva. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Barella has it. Ericsson. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Crossing possibilities. Moses. And the cross goes in. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And a throw-in it's going to be. Barella has it. Lukaku. Real danger. A case of foiling the opposition by whatever means. Christian Eriksen handed the task of taking the corner. And a goal is his. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, my initial opinion was to blame the goalkeeper, but here we get a better angle of it. Absolutely nothing it can do. A huge deflection. Keeper, no chance. It's going their way. 2-0. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Ericsson's pass, not sufficiently accurate. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Polish. The delivery. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? The conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, that break looked so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. Onayinka. And on the ball, Jan Borgil. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Well, look at the stat. A real opening now. He's got to score! And a goal! Well, let's see that again. Oh, it's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power, he's got the accuracy, and now he's got himself a goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. I think he knew he was guilty of fouling. Free kick conceded. Now Godin. This is Asamoa. Martinez. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. Danger averted. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Asamoa. He continues his run. Tremendous block. Well, a corner kick it is. Let's see if they can put this to good use as they try to add to their advantage. Corner kick taken by Christian Eriksen. Not really the ideal clearance. He's played it over to the near post. Well, he failed to get it away properly. That is that for the first half here. Away then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Now Godin. It's with Milan Skriniar. 
This is Asamoah. The ball with Martinez. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. Polish. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. You've certainly got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Lee. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Inter against Barcelona. Yeah, cup football has its own special atmosphere for me. The stakes can be really costly. Can't wait for that one. A bit of running room now on the wing. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Will he play it in? And fist it away. Moving forward effectively. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Giving it a try. Oh, that's an awful finish. And the goalkeeper could do nothing but hang on to it. Easy. Lukaku... Tetzel now. Olayinka. Good technique displayed. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. And a substitution. In the offing. And he's fired over the corner. The end product just wasn't there. A move of promise on the flank. And he was in the right place to intercept. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Well, listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans are doing their bit, trying to spur them on for the equaliser. And he takes it on. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Well, Derek, when the chances are few and far between, it's very important the forwards stay focused. Not many chances out there. Can they get one of those chances to get him back in the game? Fine ball from Eriksson. Moses. And this time, it's in. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. Given away by Inter. Vecino on the ball. I believe there's been a goal in the Dortmund match. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. It's been scored by Marco Royce. A big deflection on his shot that left the keeper flat-footed and the ball nestled in the corner. Ten minutes remain. 1-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will they profit from this situation? Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Visionary passing. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Now here's Biragi. Godin. They had their eyes on Godin. One minute remaining. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And it's Alexis Sanchez cutting in from the flat. Ericsson! But it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position. And that's going to be all we have time for in this group stage confrontation. Maximum point.
The job is partially done through to the knockout stages, but they want top spot in the group. We'll have all the action here on EA TV. Hello to you from Milan, a city synonymous with high fashion. The stadium might not be fashionable anymore, but it remains iconic, the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And we're ready for UEFA Champions League group stage action tonight. It's Inter facing Barcelona. Thanks, Derek. Well, with their place in the knockout stages already confirmed, I'm sure they'll want to give the fans top spot in the group. Doesn't always mean you'll get a favourable draw, though. Either way, I can't wait for this one, Derek. Punched away. Inter's lineup is as follows. Diego Godin plays with Milan Striniar in central defence and leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Well, body in the way. And this is Brozovic. Barella. Brozovic. Here's Eriksen. And return to Brozovic. Eriksen in position to give them the lead, maybe. And he's fired over the corner. It could be up for grabs. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Clément Longley plays alongside Piquet in the middle of the defence. And the defenders had better be on their toes because leading the line is Luis Suarez. Oh, a vital interception. And as we assess the table, final match of the group stage, and as we touched upon, a fine opportunity for the home side to make certain of top spot lead. Well, I've never met a player who ever wants to finish second, and finishing top obviously gives you the advantage of an easier first round knockout phase game, so they'll be looking for that. In full control of the ball here. Suarez, good visualization and execution. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Well, I thought that was the lead. And fed forwards. And Dreva, what can he do? Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Jordi Alba. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Good technique displayed. And the cross is very much on. Suarez! But he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. Moses. Brozovic. Varela has it. This is Asamoa. Martinez. Asamoa. Varela. Christian Eriksen now. And this is Brozovic. Dembele on the ball. Well, visionary passing. It should be. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Victor Moses now. Godin. Moses. Godin. Moses. Now Brozovic. Barella has it. This is Asamoa. A bit of running room now on the wing. And space for the cross. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Well, he took care of it defensively. Christian Eriksen now. Lukaku. Whatever it takes to keep them out. And he did what he had to do defensively. Asamoa. Well, a pleasant situation to be in before a ball was kicked in. second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. 
De Jong. Frankie De Jong. Lionel Messi. De Jong. And Suarez is in there. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Jordi Alba. And he takes on the shot. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. How about an assessment of Romelu Lukaku? Has the inspiration been missing, Lee? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. There's a slide draw pass. And it all counts for naught. So a throw in here. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Brozovic. Barella has it. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. An unforced error, you've got to say. Given away by Inter. Barca know it's a sector of the pitch devoid of defenders. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Eriksson. Barella. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Martinez. Martinez. Turning inside. Where's he going to go? The break that time was excellent. Not so much the finish. Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? The move. counter-attack and then all you needed to do was finish it off and they couldn't Ivan Rakitic Rakitic Dembele on the ball now well, the pass not finding its target Messi excellent challenge Tidy in possession. Messi. And heading it just over the bar. Yeah, he thinks he's in, he thinks he's scored, and it's just over the bar. Vecino on the ball. Christian Eriksen now. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. 15 minutes remaining. Sergio Roberto. A bit of running room now on the wing. And he cuts inside. Lukaku! The goal seemed to be at his mercy, but defenders don't always have to touch the ball to have an influence. No, it's that pressure that comes from the defender that makes him hurry his shot. Close. Artur has it. And that's an important intervention. Brozovic. An important interception. And Belly on the ball. Going well. Well, they have the goalkeeper to thank for the fact that this game is still level. Well, they can never drop their concentration, goalkeepers. They can never have a rest. It's a brilliant stop at this stage in the game. And it's certainly not like Busquets to give it away like that. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. of challenge 
Rakitic. And level it is in the waning moments. Can Barcelona change that situation? Well, this forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be the last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. Over it comes. Very high degree of difficulty there. Samir Handanovic. Well, it doesn't get much better than this in the context of the group stage. Top spot is theirs. 